Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode six, and today we're gonna to be doing the two string method. Now, this will be a very easy video to do and to follow along. It should be quick. Anyways, if you enjoy this video and you've learned something new, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications so you get notified for future videos and live streams. Comment all your feedback, suggestions, and compliments, all that good stuff below. And if you want to support me, the Patreon link is in the description below. Anyways, let's hop into it. So we have our, the same script from last time. I haven't changed anything, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the true string. So this will be used to print out whatever we want to when we call a certain method, which is two string, okay? So what we're gonna do in our district class is we're gonna create a method called, uh, a string method called two string, <clears throat> okay? Now, you'll see that we have this yellow line here, right? Uh, the keyword new is required on two string because it re it hides methods uh, string system dot object dot two string. So what this means is that we are not allowed to use this because we are not doing something and that is called overriding. Okay, so we do this by adding the override term. Okay. Oh, I don't know what it did there. <laughs> but you type override. Okay. Oh, I, th I did think I flipped it. I think it's override string. Yep, there we go. So now we have overrided the default one, okay? So let's get rid of this real quick, okay? So by default, if we delete this uh, here, let's just delete these right here. Let's try doing district.toString, okay? So there, each class has a default toString to it, or each object, okay? Now let's do district.toString. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so by default, the two string basically just prints out the type, okay? Which is, it is a type of namespace, blueprint district, okay? So basically it kind of just uh, says what it is, right? Okay, so we need to override this. So let's go back to what we had. The I think I already have it copied it, right? Nope, okay. So override string two string, okay? So override is to override a current or an, a pre-existing method that exists in that class. Override can be used for so many things, such as overriding operators um, and stuff like that. It's really useful. So in here, uh, we have this red squiggly line because we haven't returned anything yet. So by default, we can return just a, a regular string, right? But I want to print out our data in a certain format, okay? So what we can do here is that... Um, we can just put district and then we'll print out its name. So we just do name um, has school count schools. Okay. So now what we're doing here is that we are printing out this one line thing that says the school district and we'll print out its name. And we're using string interpolation in here. Unlike we did last video, I used a plus to empty string. And I'll explain more in depth later on, like I said in the previous video. Uh, has school count schools. So basically, how do we format this? How does this work? So when we add a dollar sign to the, the beginning of a string, we're allowed to use um, cur stuff like curly braces inside, and we can put variables in here. Okay, it's very cool, very helpful. And when we have string or numbers, and we want to show a certain um, amount of decimals, instead of doing dot two string, like uh, f2 for example, right? Uh, actually here, let's do it right here. School count dot two string f2. Normally we would have to do this, right? But in a string interpolation like this, in this format, we can do it um, colon f2 instead. So it makes things a lot cleaner. But again, I'll get into this in the future. I'm just talking a little bit more than I should. Okay, so let's run it. Let's see what happens. So now it says the school district, California school district, has 25 schools. Cool. What if we do the second district right here? What will it say now? Okay, so now it says the school district, Washington State School District, has zero schools, okay? Now we can do so much more with this, obviously, than just have a simple line. If we have like an analytics class, we can display the analytics, for example, with like all the variables in a different format. We can do tons of stuff with this and do a bunch of fun things like this. Now, this is some boring example, but I feel like doing a district, a school district, is an amazing example for showing you the structural part of the code. 
and how it's organized it can how it can be organized efficiently okay uh, anyways if you learned something new make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications for future videos and live streams comment all your feedback suggestions and compliments below and if you want to support me check out the patreon link it's in the description below anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one peace